Hello, welcome to uh, Technocratic Video Review. Um, today I'm looking at Media Portal, which is a media center system for Windows, similar to Windows Media Center and XBMC, and it should be because it, it is actually a fork of XBMC, uh, but it's Windows only, and it sort of takes elements from Media Center and XBMC and sort of mashes them together in a sort of a hybrid, which the way I've described it before. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. It's been out for quite a while, but I think it's got to a point now where it's very, very, very usable. In fact, it's replaced Windows Media Center on, on in my home. Um, quick look at a couple of things. I I'll, I'll, won't go into a lot of detail because I'll do a review of the actual way it works and everything. So just, just have a look at how it works. So you've got your basic things. You've got uh, plugins in here. Um, you get some built-in ones. By the way, this is the default um, skin. You can get different skins, some that look quite different, some that are you know minimalist, everything lies. There's choice for everybody. Um, TV, you've got all your TV stuff here. So for example, if I wanted to watch Neighbours, I can click on that. I've, I've got a in, turn that down a little bit. In here I've got installed um, a dual DVB T2 card and a single DVBS2 card, so I've got satellite and terrestrial TV here. So I'm in the UK, so I've got free sat and free view. Um, very easy to set up. So that's running there. We can go into the TV guide to have a look at what's going on. Um, lots of I've got a plugin here that gives me all the channel logos. I'm running a custom build of Media Portal, which is specific to people in the UK using FreeSat. Uh, so you get a very a very easy way of getting um, well FreeSat and Sky to be fair. A very very easy way of getting all the EPG data. So this is actually pulling EPG data from the Open TV format that Sky uses. I'll just stop the video here because uh, it can get a bit annoying if you're trying to talk over it. But yeah, you can. So I'm basically getting data for every channel here, logos for pretty much every channel apart from the Olympic ones because they're pretty fresh. Um, very very slick. Um, I've got, as you would expect, recorded TV here to browse through. We've got metadata and thumbnails. It records everything in the transport stream format, so it's easily portable to different devices. You don't have to use Media Portal itself to, to view it. Um, and the beauty of I've, the beauty of Media, Media Portal is it, it can record more than one one channel off the same transponder so even if you've got one tuner you can record more than one channel at a time if it's on the same transponder very useful what else do we have here there's um, media plugins similar to media center like media browser so you've got um, moving pictures which is a movie one uh, so you can look at all films you've got genres you know that sort of thing it's very very good looking I believe you've got one for TV as well which is similar you know you got all the the data and the shows and everything like that you got Netflix in your if you're in the UK you need you pretty much need to be using a VPN or a DNS spoofer to get the US Netflix content because this works off the, the US Netflix API so if you don't have that you, you're going to struggle getting the content to work on here but when you do get it to work you can get it it gives you access to an instant queue which most people don't know they can actually access with a UK account but you can on American content so I've got a few things here for example so if I want to go into Wonder Pets again, like this. I, it, it'll give me all the all the episodes there. I'm totally. Oh, by the way, I'm using a Media Center remote to control all of this. It's totally compatible with Media Portal. It can even be set up and configured to fire up Media Portal with a green button. So I can click on an episode there. It brings up its own custom browser, which is very seamless, straight into Netflix.
it's very controllable with the remote. I'm having a few issues with this installation, but upstairs I can control everything about this video with the remote. But for some reason, it's it's not wanting to do it down here. But but I can stop the video and and exit. But for some reason, I can't do anything else at the minute. I'll have to look into that. So it'll play the video there. If I want to stop it, it'll it'll stop close. It'll close the browser and go straight seamlessly straight back into the into the instant queue where I can go and pick something else. So click into there. If it's a movie, it gives you loads of info on the movie as well before you actually play it. So you can look at all the information and you can actually play the movie by pressing play. And there you go, there's Netflix. Very, very handy to have this integration in the UK with Netflix. There you go, straight into the movie. Yeah, so then you can stop the movie, come straight back out into there. So if you're looking for an alternative to Windows Media Center, I definitely recommend checking out Media Portal. It works very, very. It's very, very stable. I've had rock solid, um, rock solid TV from it. You know, the guide data alone is worth is worth it. As I said, you can do every. You know, it's it's actively being supported and updated. So there's lots of new features coming. Uh, if you want to find out more, um, head to um, www.team-mediaportal.com uh, for more information. Thanks for watching.